Dad, where will we go during our summer holidays? Why don't we go to meet Grandma again this year? We haven't been to Grandma's house for a long time now. Okay. Let me see if I can take some days off from my office. Grandma lives in Australia. How will we go there? It is so far. We will have to go by air. Now you children go and play and let me do my work. What does Dad mean by air, Emily? Let's go and ask Dr. Beaconstein. Good, Good evening, evening, Dr. Dr. Beaconstein. Beaconstein. Good evening, children. What brings you here today? Dr. Beaconstein, Dad says we might go to our grandma's house in Australia during our summer vacation. He says we shall go by air. What does by air mean? We've always gone everywhere else in our car. Oh, yes. These days, a car is the most common means of transportation. But there are other means by which you can move people and things from one place to another. Come, let me tell you the story of transport. Oh, wow. That book can tell us how people moved from one place to another in early times. Do you want to know the story of transport? Yes, yes we, we would, would love, love to hear you. it. In ancient times, people used to travel or move from one place to another on foot and carried their goods on their own backs or on animals. They trained animals like donkeys, horses, and elephants to carry their loads around on land. Some of the animals and people carrying loads would cross shallow rivers, but they could not cross large distances over water. Some wise people saw some logs of wood floating on top of the water, and an idea must have sparked in their minds. So, they tried tying some logs of wood together. These tied together logs were called rafts. Rafts were then used to help them cross the rivers. The wise people thought more and eventually made boats by joining pieces of wood. The early boats were made in the shape of a fish, and this shape is common even today. Oh yes, many boats do look like a fish. Yes, this shape helps the boat cut across the water and increases its speed over other shaped boats. The early boats were rowed by men using oars. It did require a lot of labor, so they must have tried all shapes to ease their effort until they decided on this one. Sometime later, the wheel was invented. First came wheels made of wood, but the designs of the wheel changed over the years. With the invention of wheels, there was a rapid change in modes of transport. It made movement much faster and over longer distances too. People started using animal carts pulled by animals after wheels were invented. They were used to carry people and their load. But that must have been so tiring for the animals. Yes, but people took good care of their animals. Then came the steam engine with carts. Some carts had seats for people who were called passengers. Other carts were without seats and carried goods. These steam engines that carried people and goods were called a train. The trains that had carts with seats were called passenger trains and could carry many people at the same time to faraway places. These trains were powered by steam. I hope you know that steam is nothing but boiling water. So, the steam engines used the energy from hot boiling water to move the engines which pulled the carts. I would love to travel someday in a train. Yes, you must. It's very interesting how they move on specially laid rail tracks. This made travel possible to faraway lands. The steam was then replaced by fuels like diesel and petroleum in the engines. This discovery led to the development of automobiles and motorboats and larger ships for transport on water. 
And then they developed electric trains with engines that run on electricity. And now people are developing electric cars, which are more environment friendly than cars that run on fuel. Next came air transportation. That included airplanes and helicopters. Airplanes can be big or small and can carry many people or just a few, depending on the size and number of seats. Large airplanes are called passenger planes. Airplanes are by far the fastest means of transportation. So, traveling by air means traveling in an airplane. Yes, Oliver. It means you are going to go to Australia in an airplane. Wow, that'll that be, so, be much so much fun. fun! I hope you enjoyed learning about the story of transport. Yes, Dr. Beaconstein. Thank you so much for telling us the story. We really enjoyed it. Children, remember one thing. You should always walk or cycle to nearby places as exercise is important. Also, it helps keep the environment clean from pollution. And like I mentioned, we have electric trains and are developing electric cars too, which save the environment even more. In fact, now the maglev trains are coming in too. These trains use magnets to function. So far, there are only six magnetic train systems in the world. Sure, Dr. Beaconstein. We will remember to walk and cycle to remain fit. Thank you for telling us so much about the transport we use. It will be good to see what more is invented in future, especially keeping the environment in mind. Yes, children. Goodbye for now.